Hello everyone, my name is Tom. Welcome back to my Steam FC Football Manager Challenge. For those of you that are new to my channel, the Steam FC Challenge is a very straightforward challenge in which you are in control of a team in the Skrill South in England. And it is, uh, without a doubt, the richest team in the world. You've got the highest uh, wage budget, the highest transfer budget, billions, literally billions of pounds. And you're just given brains to do with anything you want. Uh, although you're in the Skrill South, the team itself has a very, very high reputation, meaning you can sign a lot of players. The only problem is, although your reputation is high, the reputation of the league you're playing in is very low, so some players won't want to play for you. A lot of players do. And as um, you can see in the previous two episodes, uh, I've signed probably about 20 players. Uh, some of them uh, which is very old players that I'm probably just going to keep for a year like uh, Sylvester and Diara you saw at the beginning of this episode but the majority of the players I'm looking to keep for possibly for the whole save the players like uh, Diego Costa, Ter Stegen, Varane, uh, Adnan Yanezai they're very young players and they're gonna hopefully develop as they grow uh, as they grow older, they grow as they play through the leagues so by the time that we're in the Premiership I should have a very very strong team and um, my kind of like my goal I guess I don't know if I'm gonna be able to accomplish this but my goal for this challenge is to finish first um, every season obviously and the first season um, in the Premiership I want to finish first as well now that's gonna be a little bit tricky but with the amount of money that we've been given um, I'm sure we can accomplish that. And as you just saw there, um, just sort of out of curiosity, um, I asked the board for a higher wage budget, and I was pretty sure that they would um, deny my request because they're already investing like billions of pounds. But some, for some reason, they decided to give me even more money. So there we go. That kind of shows you what this challenge is like. You know, in some ways it's very easy because, well, obviously you're in the Scrub South. Okay. A league that isn't too tricky and you've got money to build the best team in the world pretty much so I mean it's a pretty fun challenge I haven't done it before um, I just sort of checked the finances there because I was thinking maybe uh, because we're in such a low league and none of our matches are on TV like other finances gonna kind of decline because that would put us in a lot of trouble but as it happens it looks like the finances are only gonna go up and I think that might be because the stadium uh, for Steam FC is, I think the, um, the capacity is a couple of hundred thousand and the sponsorship deals are very high because of the high reputation of the club. So I think that the finances are always going to be fine, uh, no matter what happens. Um, we've just got a week left until our first game. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, we've pretty much built our sort of preferred 11. Um, the sort of players that I mentioned earlier, those young players, and uh, I choose uh, Ter Stegen and Varane to be my captain and vice captain, just because um, I didn't sort of look at the leadership attribute. I just sort of said to myself, those are two players that I'm probably going to be keeping no matter what happens, because they're both very young and they're two of the best players in the team. Uh, so I decided to make them captain and vice captain. And so we've got just three days left now until the first match uh, quick little auto save so I've been getting quite a few um, comments on the previous two videos which I'm very happy to see uh, two people or a couple of people have commented saying that they quite like what they're seeing so far and that's um, that's really nice to hear considering this is the first time I've sort of done this uh, so I'm very happy to see that and if you've got any comments to kind of uh, suggest what you want me to do with this sort of save if you've got any players you want me to bring in or anything like that please let me know just leave a comment and uh, I will definitely reply to you and do the best I can. So we're heading into our first game of the season now in the Skrill South. Uh, as you can see, the team we've put together is quite, quite impressive. So we're heading into our first match in the Skrill South. Let's see how we can do. We're playing against Farnborough. And as you just saw, we scored in record-breaking time, which is very impressive. Uh, I think it was like 20-something seconds, Diego Costa gets on the score sheet so that's nice to see um, I kind of said to myself as this game was kind of starting like if um, like I was saying in the friendlies you know if they get like even like a shot if they get a shot is just like an insult to me you know I mean 
I mean, Farnborough, you know, they have just no one, you know? And when you look at the kind of team that they're playing against, the world-class team, like, you really should not be kind of even letting them have a shot, you know? And as you can see, 35 minutes into the game, we are dominating very comfortably, 6-0 up, going in at half-time, and uh, everyone playing fantastically. I just make a few substitutions, just to kind of uh, keep the team fresh, and a couple of players are on yellow cards, so I just thought I'd rotate a little bit. But as you can see, we're in complete control of this game, as you would expect. I mean, you know, I've kind of, I've said to myself also that every game in the league is going to be at least like a 5-0, you know, a draw or a loss uh, this season, or any season really, up until kind of championship territory is going to be like insulting. If I drew in the championship, I wouldn't be kind of as disappointed as I would be anywhere else. Or the premiership, for that matter. Uh, but anyway, uh, we finished our first match in the Scroll South. As you saw, Diego Costa was the record breaker for the quickest goal, 26 seconds, I think it was. And we're pretty much straight away going to head into our second game against uh, Haven and W. I have no idea what that stands for. Uh, if you know, let me know in the comments because I really do not know. As you can see, uh, 10 of our players were selected for the team of the week. A little bit disappointed that um, Villa and Villa didn't quite make the cut, but what can you do? 10 players in the team of the week is not bad at all. So heading into our second game, again I make a few kind of a few rotation options like Sylvester is playing left back, uh, just because Alaba was getting a little bit tired and uh, put Rondon as well just to kind of see uh, how he performs compared to Diego Costa performed, because Diego Costa uh, had an, an excellent game. Um, so, playing our second game now, um, I think I remember from memory, I think this game was not quite as kind of, I guess, as dominant as the first game was. As you can see, I mean, they've had, they had a free kick there that was in very, very dangerous territory. Um, but we do just get our first goal there. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, I'm actually a big fan of Kevin De Bruyne. I'm kind of disappointed that um, Chelsea decided to sell him. Uh, if this is the first time you've tuned into one of my videos, um, I am a Chelsea fan, and I'm a, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. I think he's got bags of potential at the age that he is, um, and he had a pretty, a pretty decent game um, in the World Cup against. Oh, crikey! I can't even remember who Belgium were playing uh, in the World Cup. Let me think. Let me think. It's not coming to me. I really just can't think right now. My mind is blank. Um, let me know who, in the comments who it was that um, Belgium played against in their first match. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne, I think he set up one or possibly two of their goals. Um, and he had a pretty decent game all around. Um, he's a very kind of two-footed player, and I mean at his age, he's just going to get better and better. And I am a little bit disappointed that he's left Chelsea, but I think the reason he did is because there are just so many players that have the same kind of. Um, same kind of technique, the same kind of skills, not skills, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, skill set, that's the word I'm looking for. I mean, you've got Hazard, you've got Oscar, you've got Willian, you've got Mohamed Salah, you've got so many players that kind of play his position. So I guess it was kind of the right decision to part with him. I'm just a little bit disappointed because I was a bit of a fan of him. Uh, as you can see here, I'm picking up uh, a few coaches just because the coaching staff was a little bit, um, a little bit empty. So I decided to bring in just a few, uh, few more um, coaches. Um, I, look, I looked for a scout as well, uh, just because I think we only have a chief scout at the moment. Uh, so I also decided to bring in a couple of scouts. Uh, we don't really need them right now, but maybe later on they'll be useful. Um, so I'm trying to bring in a few uh, coaches here. I just set all of the um, coaching um, attributes to 15, and then uh, I pick up a lot of coaches that just have one or more of those attributes. Um, 15 or more. Um, so what more is there to talk about? Let me see. Um, in terms of regens, I'm not sure if I'm going to be looking to bring in any regens on the on the sort of um, the regen days, if you understand what I mean. Uh, simply because, um, to be perfectly honest, I don't think I need to. I mean, it's a little bit of a hassle to kind of to go through and pick up the regens on their specific day. I've always had 
trouble finding um, the Brazilian regen day. Um, so maybe maybe on the 13th of March or 8th of March when that's the kind of European uh, regen days. I'll, I'll have a look and see if there's anyone that stands out. But in general, I probably just what I will do when I'm looking for players at the end of every season is I'll go to uh, the national teams and the kind of like under 21s and I'll pick up the most talented under 21 players for Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay and so on. Um, just because um, they will definitely be able to get a work permit because they're going to be playing a lot of international football and they're probably going to develop and be sort of the best players in the world. So we are heading into our third game and the final game of this episode against Staines. Again, we are looking to absolutely dominate this game and as you can see we have scored within five minutes I think it was Diego Costa again uh, the goals just come rolling rolling in um, with this team obviously I mean you know if you put like a team say I'm a Chelsea fan say you took Chelsea and you put them in the Skrill South they're gonna score like in a, a ridiculous amount of goals and they're gonna win like every single game you know it's just everyone knows that you know <laughs> I mean, it kind of reminds me of um, what happened to Rangers um, in Scottish football. I think it was uh, two years ago now. Uh, I think they finished uh, second in the Premiership, the Scottish Premiership. And I can't exactly remember the reason why, whether it was money problems or what it was, but they got um, relegated straight down to the Scottish um, second division, I think, which is four leagues down. Um, and I'm guessing that a lot of their players did decide to leave and I mean that's fair enough you know you can be loyal to your team but obviously the kind of standard that you'd be used to playing um, playing with and then going down to a league like that is going to be a bit of a shock and money isn't going to be there as much as well so I can understand why people would want to leave but nevertheless a player or a team with that kind of stature is still going to attract some good players um, and I'm pretty sure that uh, they certainly dominated the second division and uh, they won the first division this year so they're coming up into the Scottish Championship and uh, I'm pretty sure, I've sort of looked into it a little bit, I'm pretty sure that they're going to probably um, jump straight back into the Premiership but we've run out of time I'm afraid, this is the end of the episode, thank you for watching uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions please please um, put them down below <clears throat> and I'll do the best I can thank you for watching, please uh, like and subscribe the video and share it as well and I will uh, be posting a new video very soon So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great weekend. Peace